Hi guys, how are we all? I hope you're all well. Um, first off, I'd like to apologise for not doing a video in what feels like forever, though it probably actually is forever. Um, but I wanted to bring to you a Primark haul. Um, and I know that obviously with my time off concentrating on uni, something that you guys will have loved to have seen is a Primark haul. Um, Primark's been open for about a week now when I've um, videoed this and I didn't go at first just because I was not willing to wait in that queue but luckily when I went yesterday um, they weren't a queue at all so without further ado I'll show you what I got. I got a pack of seven pack socks obviously these are an essential everybody knows that our socks have just disappeared in lockdown somehow i really don't know where they've all gone that was all i got for like underwear type things um yeah <clears throat> second off i'll start on to the shoes now now what second off i got <clears throat> one of these little like racer top um unitards um i feel like these will be absolutely amazing for springtime i got this in khaki and white these were only six pounds each i got an extra small um and also the material i don't know if you can tell but it just looks amazing it's like a swimming costume material almost so likely catch me in the pool with that this is obviously the second one in white, just so you guys can have a see of what it looks like. Um, I just feel like they're going to look beautiful on and make me look so tanned. Next off, again sticking with clothes, I think everything that I've got top wise is an eight, um, six to eight or an extra small. Um, so I got these little cami tops, they're ribbed and they're cropped. Um, I'm not too sure when I'm going to wear these, like, they're probably going to be for bed if anything mostly but i got this in the black and in the white because they looked like such good material so i mean can you tell i hope you can tell they look amazing so next off i got these jeans i got a size eight in these because they're mum jeans so i figured there'd be a little bit of room but if i was to get skinny i would probably have had to get a 10 um, these were £15, so not as actually cheap as I thought the jeans were going to be, not going to lie. Um, but I actually haven't tried these on yet, so I will let you know like with a picture or a description or something of how they fit. But basically I just got these baggy mum jeans with no rips in, um, just plain because I had no mum jeans in black. Um, so I hope they fit because it's something that I actually sort of need right now. So moving on to like little random bits because these are that fascinating. I got some extra large um, paper clips which were only 80p for when I start my next degree. Um, I have then got this little £2 necklace which I thought actually had really cute detailing on it. Um, mine's just snapped that I wear in like, like every single day that I don't take off. But this can replace it just for now. Um, until I find a better one then I got some little sticky tabs for my work again which again are only 80p but they looked super cute some elastic bands I don't even 500 pack for one pound so obviously that's ridiculously cheap some clear elastic ones when I do little pigtails also got some black elastic ones but these are a little bit thicker they're a pound and there was a 60 pack and then got these three pack of rings which Jordan Lipscomb got these were two pounds I got a size medium and I mean I'm hoping that I can get them on and off right guys I've fucked it I've absolutely fucked it oh I did it I did it that was worrying not gonna lie I had not even taken the packet off so I'd be walking around with the packet on my hand um, and then I got this little smartphone slash tablet holder. You can turn your phone portrait or landscape, suitable for all phones, aluminium design. I just thought this would be quite cute to hold my phone up um, when I'm doing lectures and stuff. This was only £3.50. To be honest, this wasn't a necessity. Like, 
I really didn't need to buy this at all and that's why I spent as much as I did in fact do you know what this wasn't even going to be a haul my friend said that I should do a haul because of the sheer amount that I'd actually come out with I was planning on coming out with like maybe one bag maybe one heels and some socks that was it but I've clearly picked up loads of absolute Next, um, I got this cute little snake print bag for £5, only £5, so like, you can hold it like this. And it's also got <clears throat> a strap as well, so it can hold more like on your hip. I thought I'd get this because all the bags that I have are like, as you can see up there, like not the smallest. I have no like mini bags and Shannon's like, well, what are you going to put in that? But you can see the size difference um, <clears throat> and what will I put in that that's a very good question um, but I might just put a lip liner and a lipstick for when I go somewhere to be honest I barely ever carry a bag so I don't know why I'm accumulating loads and am I ever gonna even use this because of the colours and I never wear pink I don't know but <clears throat> We've got it now we may as well keep it so next off i got some uv protectant sunglasses to be fair i really don't know why i just said uv protection because all of them in the uk are but these are category three whatever that means um so they were all two pounds these ones first off are a tortoise shell but the dark tortoise shell um i have no tortoise shell stuff at the moment so i feel like these were really cute um they're a tad big for my face not gonna lie but let's be honest they're gonna stay on the top of my head half of the time these have the tag off because i already wore them yesterday it was absolutely blinding when we sat in wagamama's so then these these are obviously more of a fashion statement glass and i don't know how much i'll wear these either um but i have some of these like cat eye look in the black but they're like um the frame is a little bit smaller but again, two pounds. So do you know, I thought I'm gonna stock up on sunglasses while they're actually this cheap because who can get a pair of sunglasses for two pound other than at Primark? So, and then I got these like overly shaped. They're a little bit like out there to be honest. They're not the small ones that people are getting. Um, do these suit me? Yeah, I'm not too sure about that if I'm honest with you, but um, we're just gonna keep them anyway because there was two pounds two pounds so why would i not keep them please shoes i am a shoe freak at the moment don't even come at me for it because i know it's an issue but however these was only five pound okay i have these in white already from last year and they are the comfiest sandal i swear to god i've ever bought and if these aren't as comfy they'll be fights because i'm in obsessed with the white ones and i never want to take them off in summer and then i start to look like a bit of a tramp um but there was some with like a double buckle so there was like two buckles but um they sort of i loved them at first and then we came to the conclusion that they looked more grannyish than these ones do so i think i've just got the exact same pair twice now but i love them and i can't wait to wear them already i might even just wear them in the garden today are you ready for these how are they from primark how are they from primark they have a cute heel two little rush things on the front Do you know what i've not even tried them on yet so i'm hoping they actually fit oh my god it's elasticated too that is just amazing i mean i have my sock on so you know not the best so but oh my god i am obsessed this was the last pair the last pair and they happened to be a five like sorry what to be fair these were probably one of the most expensive things i bought how much were them jeans again £15 pounds and these heels were £14 pounds, so not the cheapest shoes that I could have picked up and I mean do I need any, do, I was going to say do I need any more black heels but this heel is proper cute, I have no heels this small, they're all like stilettos which obviously isn't the best thing. So last but not least I picked up these sandals 
also i'm actually not sure how much oh these were six pounds so a lot better than you know the 14 pounds um these are quite similar of a style like really modern but in cream these also look like they've come off of like ego do they not like they're gonna look absolutely beautiful with some blue jeans and a white top and a little bag day drinking i'm envisioning it now with my little two pound pair of sunglasses i'm so impressed with the things i bought like i did spend a lot more than i wanted to i literally wanted to spend about 15 pounds and i came out of there having spent 85 pound but i'm not even going to complain because my friend went way above me and yeah i'm happy that that wasn't me and then i'm sorry but how fucking fit do they look these are not a slider as you've gathered these are like a slipper a memory foam slipper contours to your feet and machine washable which is weird because i thought that that would like make the memory foam go out of shape but beautiful four pound four pound deos for them i'm so excited to get in the bath and then get out and slip my feet into these already you know that you know how nice that is gonna feel and then obviously a little hand gel because they're necessary these days so that is actually everything i got from primark i only ended up coming out with one huge ass bag when she only handed me one bag i was like are you sure are you sure you've scanned everything um because it seemed like a lot more than that that i was carrying around um but yeah that is all i hope you've really enjoyed my primark haul and i hope if you guys see things that you like you've you're going to be able to go down there and get them for yourself um, I didn't get any of those like cute little gym set cohorts that everybody's getting. Um, there was only a pink one left. And as we know, I mean, look behind, look at everything I've bought. I'm not a pink girl. And I don't think I ever will be. And I'm, that is not even something I'm wanting to change. So yeah, um, I did pick it up at first because I was like, oh, it's the last one left. Like, I'll just try it, see what it looks like on me. But then I thought, Do you know what? No, like... Why am I going to spend more money on this when I'm not that keen anyway? So yeah, I put it back. But that's all of my Primark haul. Um, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye.